Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I am excited and a little nervous about this video, and I'll tell you why here in a second, um, but I am doing a process using one of Tanya Hamilton's, she's Messy Bible, one of her online workshops, and this is her newest workshop that released today, and she sent it to me ahead of time so I could take a look at it, watch her video, and share it with you guys. And so I just got done watching her video that comes as a part of the workshop. If you are not familiar with her workshops, I did review one of her workshops um, a few weeks ago. I will link that down below. Um, that video kind of goes more into depth about the process of, of purchasing her workshops and what all it entails and all that goodness. So check out that video down below. Um, and so she offers something really unique that I haven't seen in any of the other companies or kits or devotionals or anything like that. So um, you purchase her online workshops and um, as a part of that, you get video content that's exclusive to that workshop. She gives you a code once you've purchased the workshop and you can watch that video. And she spends a few minutes at the beginning of the video talking about the scripture, which I think is so important. I know that's something that you guys ask me to do more of, and I, that's just not my gift. That is definitely Tanya's gift. Um, and so she spends a good amount of time of just devotional time in her video, face to face with you going over the scripture that is the topic for that um, devotional workshop. Um, and then she takes the remainder of the video and goes through a journaling process. So a way to uh, take the content from her, the devotional and create artwork in your Bible with it. And so Tanya used to teach classes at her local Lifeway. And so her workshops, the Bible journaling portion, is very similar to how she structured her Lifeway classes. And so it was fairly simple but creative um, techniques and she goes step by step on how to do it. But an extra added little bonus is when it's not just online. So when you p purchase that online workshop, she sends you an envelope of some goodies, um, really simple, nothing crazy, but really simple goodies that you can use to work alongside her in that um, technique. And so this is the Thanksgiving online workshop. And um, I'll be honest, I got the envelope and opened it before I watched the video. And so I always kind of like to like try to figure out what she's going to do with what's in this envelope. And Tanya and I are dear friends. We talk to each other all the time um, through FaceTime and <laughs> texting each other. And so I, we are very similar in our likes and dislikes. And so I, I was a little surprised because when I opened this, I really had no idea what she had planned for the workshop, so I am excited. So for this particular workshop, what you get in your envelope, let me make sure you dump everything out because there's an extra little goodie. Uh, you get a photo uh, or like a printout of a tree, a tree silhouette. You get a piece of tissue paper, and then this little, it's a sticker, and it's actually for you to cut apart so that you have like tile alphas that will spell out will come. Or you can just cut it in half and just have um, you know, two separate stickers. I like tile alphas. Um, in particular, I love the Tim Holtz uh, tile alphas, and so this will look very similar to those if you cut it into that. So you've got that as a part of your um, title. And when I looked at this, I thought, hmm, I'm pretty sure we're going to trace this, but I have no idea what to do with the tissue paper. So I watched the video. I'm not going to go in super detail because that's what she does in her workshop and that's kind of the added benefit of purchasing that workshop. But what I'm going to do is basically try to follow her workshop directions and I have to admit, I'm kind of a control freak and I'm super nervous about acrylic paints and this is really out of my comfort zone. So I wanted to do this on film just to show you um, how easily it is to follow. And so I think that is really important. All of her other um, tutorials and things have been really easy for me to follow. And so I wanna see if this is you know like that too. Uh, she also sent me uh, some pens that she's carrying in her shop. So she is ever expanding the product in her shop. She now carries um, little watercolor swatch cards. She's got the flexible washi rings. I don't have mine right here, but she has the flexible washi rings that I show in my last video um, and some other goodies. And she just just recently stocked these pens. They're made by Zebra. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you know one of my favorite pens is the Tombow Feud Calligraphy Pen. And um, this comes in a soft and hard uh, nib. 
and I just really love these. They are waterproof. They don't bleed through my Bible pages and you can get that thick and thin calligraphy look with these. And so these are very similar to the Tombow Feud pens and I imagine they are cheaper. And so um, they have a thick and a thin. I kind of just scribbled it out here on my notes that I took from the video. A thick and a thin. Um, in her video for this workshop, she uses the thicker pen. Um, I think I'm going to use the thinner pen just because I feel like I have more control. Uh, hand lettering and calligraphy is not my um, expertise by any means. And so I feel like I have a little bit more control with the smaller tips. So we're going to try that. Um, and a little bonus for you guys is she gave me a discount code to use for, um, I believe it's for just the workshop. So if you use LD as in Lindsay decor, LD thanks, you can get 25 or 20% 20 off for the whole month of November. So LD thanks for 20% off. I'll have everything down in the description box for you guys. Um, um, I don't get any affiliate kickback or anything like that. She was just super sweet and gave me a discount code just for my followers. So don't forget to use that. It's already super inexpensive, greatly priced workshops as it is, but this gives you 20% off. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so she sends all that. You can pick up the pens. She does use pens in her video. Um, and so you may want to pick up a couple of these when you place your order for your workshop. So um, she talks... In this workshop, um, the focus verse is Jeremiah 30, 19. So that is where I'm going to be journaling. I'm not going to go into detail about the verse because she does that in her workshop and she's way better at it. Um, but you can see here, I did take some notes for myself while I sat down and watched the video. Um, and so I'm going to keep that in mind as we dive in here and just kind of have some fun. And so I'm going to go ahead and put you on fast forward and let's see how this goes. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just slide this image behind my page. I am working in the illustrating Bible, so I have a really big margin to work in, so I can fill in a lot more of that tree in this particular margin. If you are having difficulty seeing it through the back of your page, depending on the Bible that you're using, you can also use um, like graphite paper or something like that to transfer the image into your Bible. Um, just do whatever works for you. Now, in her video, Tanya outlines this in pencil first and then goes over it with a pen. But to be completely honest, I'm filming this at about 10 o'clock at night and this girl is exhausted. So I decided to skip that test, that step and live on the wild side and just go directly in with the pen. And you know what, with these pens, because they have that flexible nib and they can go thin and thick, it actually went by very quickly to just go in and sketch this out. And since it's this you know, branchy tree, it doesn't have to be perfect. So you know what, it, it worked out just fine. But if you are nervous about tracing in your Bible, you can go into this with pencil first and then just go over it with your pen um, and all that goodness. So I'm going to speed this up quite a bit and just copy this into my Bible, nothing fancy. And while I am uh, copying this, I am just taking the time to really reflect on the verse and think about what Tanya shared um, in her devotional video. Okay, so I got my tree all on there, and uh, you can see it's not really bleeding through. I was pretty heavy handed, and it looks like maybe if I went over several times, it would want to bleed through, but this is just really shadowing. This isn't too bad. It's not any more than it would do with the Tombow Feud calligraphy pen. Um, and so there is my tree, and I wanted to not fast forward through applying the paint so we can see how this goes. Now she tells you to pick out um, some colors and she picked out some fall colors that are a little more pastel. I am an earth tone girl um, as you can tell from my sweater. So I picked like a burnt orange, a deep plum, a deep green, and an ochre mustardy yellow for my fall colors. And I think this is going to work okay. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe it'll be an epic failure, but we're going to try it. Um, and then I have some plastic packaging, just some trash from like some stickers or something. And she says to use just the teeniest little bit of paint. Really doesn't take much at all. And we are going to try this. I think why this makes me so nervous is... One, it's acrylic paint, and I don't ever have good luck with acrylic paint. Two, this is very, like, you don't have a whole lot of control. 
which I mean, I've done techniques like that on my channel before. Maybe it's just because it's new to me and I haven't, I didn't even like practice testing it out before turning on the camera or anything. So I wanted to see, you know, as a newbie, how doable is this technique? And then I have faith in Tanya. She is one smart cookie. So um, let's just see how it goes here. Okay, I only want a little bit of that orange. All right, so in her video, she takes your tissue paper and wads it up. And then opens it up, wads it up. And then I'm gonna try not to fuss too much. Tanya's probably watching this and laughing at me right now because she probably can already see I'm fussing over it. <laughs> Okay, and like how she mentioned about her manicure, I just did my nails just a few minutes ago, and so I'm kind of hesitant to get super covered in paint too. <laughs> okay, so I don't want a whole lot of the orange, so I think I'm gonna go in with that first, and so I'm gonna pounce off the paint. Okay, and then we're gonna go to start in the middle like she says, and then go out to the out, and then a little bit at the bottom. All right, so far, not so scary. All right, <laughs> and then I don't want a whole bunch of that orange, so I'm gonna kind of reposition my stuff here. And then let's go in with the green. And that is a lot. And so that's why she kind of tells you to pounce off some of the paint before you go to your page. I'm a little nervous about that being flat, but we'll see. Mm, I'm starting to doubt the colors that I picked, but we'll see. Maybe it'll come together in the end. Trying to go for fall colors and colors that you would see in trees, but I guess you probably don't see all of these colors in one tree, but we're gonna try it. Okay, let's go in with the, oh, yellow and purple is gonna make brown, and I know that. So I wanna make sure that I dr I'm gonna dry my colors in between. And that's just something I know from color theory that yellows and oranges are crossed from purples and so you may have some issues which I mean you know what actually there's brown in trees so that actually might be okay I am getting some muddiness right in here maybe I should have just stuck with the colors that she had in her video I don't know we'll see Okay, so I'm not gonna dry it. We're gonna let there be a little bit of brown. Let's go in the purple. This is the color that I'm really loving, so hopefully this will kind of save it. I think part of mine is I'm hesitant to get too much paint on there but I'm not getting enough paint. Maybe that's my problem. There we go. And I am barely touching the page. Like she suggests, I'm starting in the center so it's heavier in the center and then working my way out. Okay, so I definitely feel like maybe some more green. So I'd say go in with less less paint first and then build it up. Okay. It's not hard, it's I'm just scared. <laughs> and I am getting covered in paint. So that's 
kind of the fun, like if you are one of those perfectionists, if you're one of those like clean freaks about your journaling, this will break you of that for sure. Okay, I'm feeling like maybe, I'm not sure about the colors. Like they're just not earthy enough. Maybe like an earthier green. Let's try that. We're going rogue now. <laughs> We're using more colors than she used in her video. And she also shows in her video, one of her prior entries that she had done was with like pinks and whites, like cherry blossoms. So if you're nervous, that may be the color palette that you wanna go for. Um, or I would say test, you know, trying it out on a scrap piece of paper first might work too. Okay, that earthy green is better. So that kind of tied everything together. So I've got like my fallen leaves on the bottom. I've got my mix of colors. I think that that looks pretty good there. I'm gonna step away before I mess it up. So it was not hard at all. Um, just have to be brave and jump in there and go for it. But I like how that came out very fall looking. That earthy green really kind of pulled everything together for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe up my hands before we do the lettering. Get everything off my desk here. And I'm actually gonna hit this with my heat tool just to make sure I don't drag my hand through it. Okay, so I actually really like how that came out. That green made it look much better. And you can see the acrylic paint doesn't bleed through and it dries really fast because you're only using a little bit of paint. Okay, so now in her video, she hand letters the word Thanksgiving um, and then adds her will come. I'm gonna do it up up at the top, up at the top here. That way I have some room to journal a little bit here. And like I said, hand lettering is not something I'm an expert at. So go ahead and use a pencil. And I'm actually going to draw myself a line because the illustrating Bible doesn't have a lined margin. So it's a little bit more difficult um, if you don't have lines. So I want to make sure that I'm not like writing up and I'm going to spell out the word Thanksgiving. So let me go ahead. I'm probably going to put you in pat fast forward because it's going to be, like I said, it's going to take me a couple tries. Okay. So you can see I went over it several, several times to make sure it was what I wanted. Like I said, I'm going to go in with a smaller tipped pen and this one has some flex. So, um, as you are going up, you're going to, you know, have light pressure. And then when you come down strokes, if you push harder, you're going to have that, that calligraphy look. So I'm going to go press down light down, light. Okay, so I don't totally hate that. I think that came out okay. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with my heat tool just to make sure it's dry. And then I can go ahead and erase my pencil lines. Okay, so there's my word Thanksgiving. It's a little bit not perfect, but that's okay. <laughs> and you can see on this paper, it is kind of wanting to bleed through in some areas where I went really, really heavy handed. So just don't, just be careful. Okay, but the Tombow Feud pen will do the same thing if I'm heavy handed, so. Okay. 
Okay, so there is my title. Thanksgiving will come. And then I'm going to go ahead and add myself some journaling lines. Okay, so I just wrote, thank you, Lord, for being a God of restoration. I pray that I will always strive to be under your umbrella of protection. And that is something that came out of what Tanya talked about in her video and how we um, can't ever lose our salvation. But if we stray from God, we can move ourselves from, out from underneath his umbrella of protection. And so um, I just want to remember that as I look at this verse and then let's go ahead and just again that's Jeremiah 30 19 so it's down here alrighty so I did it guys I did it it was not that scary I accomplished it. So check out Tanya's class. If you've not ever checked out one of her classes, I love the content that she shares and just the uniqueness of her online workshops. Um, so definitely check that out. And don't forget to use code um, LDTHANKS for 20% off and grab some pens while you're over there if you're looking for a good journaling pen. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you try this out, um, how, what you thought of it and how you are enjoying Tanya's class. Check out the description box for links to everything and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.